so first thing in the morning I make a coffee I'm making Americano today and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it I will link my espresso maker down below I've been obsessed with it use it literally every day sometimes twice a day sometimes three times a day because I make some for Joey my husband but I'm going to go ahead and grind my coffee beans and make my coffee and then we'll take out the rollers together <laughs> She stuffed. The trick is to really put a lot of a lot of um, coffee grounds in, and I do it the grinder at 2.5, so it's really fine. That makes a really thick um, shot. Oh. I got these little cups, um, they're just like clear, heat protectant, um, little espresso cups. I'll leave those linked also. I'll leave everything linked that I'm using throughout the day for you guys. And I'm going to do a double shot. Okay, I'm trying to get the best shot to explain the Americano, which is just espresso and water. If you were going to do a, a hot Americano, you would want to steam the water, get hot water. Um, Actually, mine just has hot water features, so I think just hot water pours out. And then if you're doing iced, you can do cold water, which of course I'm doing iced. Um, it's like 80 degrees out, so. <laughs> but this espresso is double shot. See the nice froth on top? That's what you want. That like golden caramel froth. I'm gonna add a little bit of the cold water to the coffee before I pour it over ice. I feel like this helps cool it down and it doesn't melt my coffee. So I just added some water and now I'm going to add the shot into this glass over ice but I'm doing that over the sink because I don't trust myself good thing I did that over the sink and add a little bit more ice get it cold as it can really fast okay now I'm adding the remainder of water which that is all what Americano is is just espresso and some water and then you add your cream and your sugar which I'm gonna use this caramel macchiato skinny syrup. I'm just gonna add a splash of that. You can use any sweetener of your choice. I think the caramel is so good, so, so good um, with espresso. And then I'm adding a little splash of cream. This is just Aldi's French vanilla. And I'm gonna add some of that. This is optional, but I'm adding reduced fat milk. I feel like I like to use a little bit less cream and then add milk to the top. Um, that's just like lately what I've been doing. And I've really been liking it. Here she is. Gotta mix her up before you know if you need anything. So I feel like all the cream and milk goes to the very bottom. Oh my God, this looks so good. Am I right? just hits the spot it just hits the spot am I right so good I have some dishes to put up where can I set you guys right here yeah um, okay go back out you can go I have some dishes I have to put up um, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I wanted to show you guys the the dish rack thing I got from, I think it was uh, Pottery Barn. Yeah, Pottery Barn. I just have a few dishes, not really much, just from last night's dinner. Cool. Um, but it's this drying mat, and this is perfect for RV life because you can just fold it up and store it away, but it comes with this rack that you add to it. You just slip it over, and that's where your plates go, and I'm obsessed. Okay, and then when I'm done, I just fold it like this, wrap it up like that, and you can store it away. <gasps> genius, genius, genius. I love it. As promised, we're taking out our rollers together. I just don't know where I'm gonna put you. Mm, pretty good. 
All right, I didn't keep them in that long, honestly. Maybe like, I don't know, 30 minutes? So, not too long. Um, yeah, there's, oh, I should have left them in longer, but I got things to do. So I'm just gonna take them out. But typically, I like to keep them in for like an hour or more. The longer the you keep them in, obviously, the more of a shape you're gonna get. But I really don't, I don't know, I just feel like it's so easy to do rollers, honestly. I just straighten it out a little bit, touch it up with the straightener, get my hair hot, and then roll it. Because you do want your hair to be kind of hot, if that makes sense. Um, you can even blow dry it. I just despise blow drying. <laughs> I've never liked blow drying my hair, but I will straighten it. Or blow it out with the Bondi Boost brush. That's a little bit better and easier. Um, but this just gives it a little bit... This just gives it a little bit of volume. So I'm not trying to like curl my hair. I'm really only just trying to add some volume to it. Let's see, this is the best one, hopefully, for the bangs. Yeah, there we go. Just want some oomph, you know? Then I'm gonna take some hairspray. Okay, so I have this um, texture dry shampoo. I like to run that through it just give it some volume some more volume <laughs> my hair flattens so quickly like truly it does so if you guys have any recommendations let me know I don't know I haven't perfected my hair whatsoever still trying to just not have to buy the Dyson air wrap I feel like that gives it the best effect of what I want but it's $600 which is a lot so I don't know I need help I have pumpernickel rye bread I'm obsessed with this bread right now. It's so good. So I'm going to do one slice. It's 90 calories. I do count my calories um, on the healthy app. So this what I eat in a day is really geared for healthy swaps, but also still eating things I enjoy to lose weight. And I have lost 60 pounds and I've kept that off. You know, I've gained some back and then lost it, gained some back, but I maintain the 60 pounds and I know what to do. And I decided, you know what, even though I haven't lost much more, I still have valuable information for others and for myself to keep myself motivated and consistent with weight loss. I have to remember, like, I've already accomplished so much and I know I can accomplish more. So that is what this video is all about. Like, for an example, I'm having one slice of toast with lots of loaded fiber and protein and a little bit of healthy fats on it rather than having just like a super high extreme carby breakfast that's like really high in calories that's not even going to really keep me full i like to add on to things so i like to add tomato i'm adding some cheese i'm adding it's like white cheddar cheese i'm adding some ham slices and that's kind of what i do that's what i like to do i that's what I like to do with all my meals is just like add on to it how can I make this go further but not jack up the calories on it um, you know and it's not all about like oh I'm just trying to like restrict calories that's like not it I'm trying to eat as much as I can with a specific calorie range so that I am in a calorie deficit to lose weight but I'm still eating I just want a preference that like I'm still eating things that I love, you know? Okay. So this is just like a little toasty. I am adding it into the oven because there's just so many toppings and it's just easier this way. I've really been like loving using my oven and just putting it in a casserole dish like this and just adding stuff into this. Um, because if not, then I would have to heat this all up in the skillet, make a whole other dish. Um, a dirty dish and I'm not in the mood for that I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and we're 
we're gonna let her bake in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. On 400. looks incredible this is breakfast this is like the perfect breakfast it's warm has so much protein a little bit of carbs some healthy fats so flavorful and so good so I'm very excited to eat that so I'm gonna eat my breakfast and work a little bit on the computer and then when Joey gets home we'll make some lunch which I'm so excited to share this lunch with you i cannot stop making it i hope we have everything still left because we've been making it so much i think we have everything still but it's so easy and it's so good you guys are gonna love it you have to make it at home so you'll see what i'm talking about when i'm ready to make some lunch for joey and i but she should be home any minute he's getting off a little bit early today which is nice um so he'll be in the video and I don't know what we're up to today. We might go on a WALK with the dogs, which would be nice to get some, some activity in and some movement. I feel like we've been so cooped up in the RV, like just renovating and working on it. Like we haven't really been out very much. It's like every extra time we have, we're working on the RV and trying to get everything done. So it'd be nice to go on a little a W with the dogs. I know they need it and I know we need it, so. He quit. They're so cute. Come on, lovies. Is this a walk or... Oh. Tired? Tired pups. Mm-hmm. Tired daddy. Mm -hmm. We're all tired. That was an excellent walk we went a little further than normal um and we went a different route a route that i'm typically scared of so we're you know conquering our fears i don't really like to go on roads where it's just like one tight sidewalk and on the main road it freaks me out but we did it today and the dogs were excellent i am going to make us a really late lunch um, that's just kind of how the day went because I woke up pretty late because I slept in. So I had the breakfast. I haven't really snacked on anything. Um, so I'm going to have this pizza. I'm going to show you guys this recipe because it's seriously so good. I love it. And you can change whatever you want with the ingredients. You can add to, you can take away, you can make a completely different pizza. But it's, it's pretty awesome. And then will have dinner later and i think when i don't snack throughout the day typically i have a dessert at night so i'll show you guys a dessert that i like so what you need is a flatbread this is the original flatbread um 90 calories per flatbread this is from target and i found this in the produce section near the bread you know how they have um like a little bit of bread near the produce section at least at my target they do this flatbread was over there and it's 90 calories and it's really good and it stays really firm pizza sauce or pasta sauce and a cheese of your choice we like this one this brand from Publix we get this this is the sharp cheddar um this is really good and then we have a very little amount of turkey pepperoni um my next grocery haul i'm gonna be getting everything i need to make these pizzas because i just eat them like every day but we have a little bit of turkey pepperoni left um do you want any mushrooms on yours joe since there is not much pepperoni should i add some mushrooms add a little bit of mushrooms to it just to make it go a little bit further and that's going to be our pizza so i'm going to go ahead and assemble it and i bake it on my gas oven i get it really hot so i do 450 for about 15 to 18 minutes um to get it real crispy and then i let it sit and cool for five minutes and that just hardens everything up but again i have an rv gas oven so just keep an eye out you really can't go wrong i don't think i don't think it can like burn at 15 minutes um so let's get started oh my battery's dying
wants to know what I'm drinking. It's zero sugar lemon <laughs> strawberry lemonade. I can't talk. And then I mix it with a cherry limeade ice for a little bubbly. And it's really refreshing and really good. You could add, to make it even better, some lime zest or like lime juice would be delicious. But it's super refreshing. That's what I'm having. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is the pizza. Look how crispy that is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Cuts perfect. I made two. Me and Joey just put it on a big plate and share it. This one's already cut and cooled down. Oh my goodness, I made this one extra crispy. So, I did it for 18 minutes instead of 15. Just for extra crunch. So good. Look at that. I'm gonna put it on this big plate to share. There is lunch. with that. sauce to go pour over the fish and veggies and the potatoes so this is what I have I have some garlic cloves about four a handful of parsley we may need to add a little bit more and then the juice of one whole lemon is gonna go in here with a little bit of lemon zest and then we're gonna add some avocado oil and salt and pepper and maybe a little bit of red pepper chili flakes because I'm in the mood for that so Let's get this sauce going. This is the key, I feel like, to make a good, healthy dish, is to have a nice sauce and not be afraid of a little bit of oil because it really does add crispiness, flavor, and it's just really good. So, don't be scared of it. We're gonna add the lemon zest first before we juice it. You're gonna get so much liquid from the lemon, so don't skip on that. If you don't like lemon, do vinegar because it's gonna help with using less oil. You won't need to use so much. We might even add a little bit of rice vinegar or white wine vinegar. Oh my God, that just splattered all over me. We're going with rice vinegar because that was the first thing I saw in the pantry. A little bit of rice vinegar. A little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add some salt, lots of black pepper. Just a little bit of chili flakes. Just for a nice kick. Some garlic salt. Looks delicious. We're gonna add some of that on top of this fish. And some onto the veggies. We did broccoli and mushrooms. Always have 
a garbage little bag to put all of your garbage. This helps with clean up so much. I have all of like the veggies I didn't use. I have like the veggies, uh, the end of the broccoli, um, the lemon peel, the fish wrapper. You can just put it all into this and throw it away. Here are the dinners. We're gonna add a little bit of sauce to it. It's extra sauce. Mm. I'm loading up on veggies and potatoes because I feel like we didn't eat very much today. At least I know I didn't. So I have plenty of calories, plenty of points. This is gonna be our delicious dinner. This is what, cod? Yeah. Kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope. Joey and I are watching this show right now. We need to put up our TV right here. We have a big old TV we need to put up, but we haven't got to it yet, but Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Um, we've just been watching it on our computer, sitting in our big chair. I feel like because our couch hasn't come in yet, um, hopefully it's coming, it's so late, but we have a big couch coming in. I feel like once the couch is here, we'll be like really wanting our TV, but since we're sitting in our big computer chairs, we just watch TV right here. We're watching Kaleidoscope and it's so good. What do you think of it, Joe? It's amazing. You like it? Yeah, it's like a uh, heist and like robbery show. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. But it also has like a little bit of like history with like family and like, I don't know, like slight, I don't yeah. know if you'd call that drama in yeah. a way. Yeah. But Joey just made us a little dessert. He made a graham cracker with peanut butter and banana. I know this is weird, but I added sesame seeds to mine because honestly it's so good. And then I'm going to have a little low cal reduced fat i'm gonna have a little reduced fat um hot cocoa i've been on a hot cocoa kick i've been loving it and this was in my stocking stuffer from joey's mom the key to hot cocoa is if you have a way to steam milk go ahead and do it because it's literally so good it just adds the best creaminess and foam to the top of your hot chocolate Oof, this looks so good. Here we go, here we have our last bit of food for the day. My little graham cracker with peanut butter. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. And some hot chocolate. I just did my nails too. It's like toffee color. The dogs are just laying down relaxing. They're still so tired from their walk. It just really goes to show like, their age they're getting older they can't handle super long walks anymore which is actually kind of sad but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the show and my little dessert this is probably so hot and yeah that's pretty much everything for today for this little what I eat in a day I hope you guys enjoyed this style video if you did make sure to show me that you enjoyed it and want to make want me to make more of these videos by giving it a thumbs up if you're new subscribe hit that notification bell leave a comment all that good stuff let me know how you guys are doing let me know how you're feeling what you feel this new year coming um, up to 2023 it's pretty crazy I can't believe we're already here um, I'm kind of just feeling like no goals this year no goals just acceptance and 
I don't know. I feel like we always create these goals that we never hit and then we feel like a big failure. So I'm not creating any goals. I'm just doing what I wanna do, following my intuition and doing the best that I can. I will leave links down below for everything that I showed you guys along with a five, I think it's $5 off your yearly subscription to Healthy, which is what I use to track. And that's what I used all day to track my calories and my points. It's very similar to WW, but way better. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys and along with everything else. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm so happy to be starting back up with my what I eat in a days, back into like a finally like a normal feeling of routine in a way. I don't really love that word, but just like was back into like my daily life. I felt like it was so weird living in Joey's mom's house and now we're back in our home and it just feels so great. So I hope you guys are ready for the videos. Let me know what you wanna see from me. Give me some video ideas that you would like to see or that you would, maybe it would be helpful for you or you just are interested in like more content. Um, let me know what you wanna see. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.